up family, welcome to the channel. And this video is gonna be about Spence versus Fondora. The upcoming fight, it's been signed. And they're gonna fight. And I'm gonna break this fight down and let's just see who wins. Fondora was lucky, right? Because he beat that Tim Zhu from a headbutt. We don't really know how good he is. But Spence really should win this fight at 154 even though he got demolished by Crawford, who's pound for pound at the moment. Well, he's pound for pound with Usyk at the moment. But it should be an interesting fight. They could end up fighting each other later on down the line, providing Spence beats Fondora and Crawford beats Israel Mogrinov. That is upcoming fight in August, which I reckon Crawford will do. I think Crawford is just too good. He's too skilled. He will win at 154. He wants to become unified at three weight divisions. But the important question is, if Spence and these two clash with Crawford, it's a money, it's, look, it's a money fight. It's a good fight, third fight. But what's going to be the result? Crawford is just going to absolutely de demolish him next time. I reckon he will knock him out early and hurt him. The only advantage to me, right, if Spence beats Fondora, is going to be confident. Really, he should have had a tune-up fight. But he says he doesn't do tune-up fights. But he should have had a tune-up fight, then fought someone else, then Crawford. But promoters love Spence because he's a money man. He brings in the seats, right? And he's got the supporters. So if he fights quarters, Crawford again, that's going to be a mega, mega fight. But Craw it's just going to be one-sided. Crawford is just going to, I reckon, demolish him after that performance providing that he wins his fight. So that could be a 154 Spence and Crawford. It could be an, that's just going to be an interesting, interesting fight, man. So I reckon if they fight each other, money-wise, it's going to make sense. But for the fans, I don't think it's going to make sense. After that performance against, uh, he fought against Crawford. Crawford just dismantled him, destroyed him. The only advantage that I see Spence got is the weight. Before... You come down in weight, you deplete yourself. I don't know how comfortable he was coming down at 147, because you've got to understand, Spence walks around at 200 pounds. So the weight could be a factor in his advantage, but Crawford as well is just going to go up another eight pounds. So if he carries his power, his skills there, so it's going to be an interesting fight, but it's just going to be one-sided, to be honest with you. At the end of the day, if the fans want to see it, if the money makes sense, they're going to do it. The promoters will put it on. But if they clash and it's head-to-head -head mandatory to unify the division, then absolutely Crawford will go for that fight. Anyway, that's my take on it. I reckon, you never know, Fundora could end up, could, might end up, we don't really know who it is. Might upset the uh, boxing world, uh, uh, the boxing world. What he did with uh, Tim Zoom, head clash, went his way. You never know. If he beats Spence, oh my good God. It should be very interesting then. Let's just see. And if he fights Crawford, you never know, man. Sometimes these people come along and they just end up upsetting the whole division to start beating everybody. So you never know. It's going to be an interest. It's going to be a good fight. I would definitely watch the Crawford, the Spence fight, even though I know that Crawford is just going to dismantle him. Unless if he gets old over age. Even though he's getting on a bit, it's a 36. He doesn't show any signs of deteriorating. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. This is what happens when you live the life, but you can get old overnight in boxing. Anyway, that's my take on it. That should be very interesting. Like and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification button so you can get all this wicked content while I upload it. Stay lucky. Stay blessed. I will check with you on the next video. See ya.